Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Apps. Uh, today I want to show you one of the latest options that we've implemented with Key Terminator uh, and uh, try to show you quickly what it's all about. So Key Terminator basically is a scheduler that ends items and a scheduler that relays to or sells similar items. So I'm going to try to create uh, some kind of uh, duplicate so that you can see what's happening. So right now, if I click on the duplicate tab, I do not have any duplicates here that have been found. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, an item and uh, relist it or sell it and uh, see what we can uh, do to create a duplicate. So let's see, if I was to take this item here and add a record and do a cell similar on it, and I want to be notified, and I just want to relist it one time, and I want to be notified when it got listed. So I'm going to save this, and it added it to the queue. Okay, and it's in the queue and it should list shortly. Let's just refresh and it is gone so it got listed. Let's see if I get a trusty notification that my item got listed, but I can probably go to relisted here and see that uh, my cell similar here got listed into this new item. Let's look at it there and test for six blah 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 and what was the old item the old item was ended so it got sell similar and it's obviously a duplicate of um, some other items that I have so now let's go look at the duplicate tab uh, it takes a minute to actually come through and I have key terminator that's actually uh, telling me right now that my item um, got relisted. You cannot see it because it's in a little pop-up, so I'm going to try to uh, open my email and show you that email that we got from key terminator that shows uh, that item, that this item was uh, relisted. So let's see. Let's open my email. It's on another window for privacy reason. But as soon as I get to it, when my email decides to open, I will bring it to you. Okay, so if I bring this here so that you can all see it, you can see that um, Key Terminator is telling me that my item got added and that's my new item and I can click on it to see it on eBay. So now let's go back to our duplicate screen and let's click to get it refreshed. And it has not processed yet. So while it's processing, let's take a look at the config here that I have set up. So if I click on the config tab, I have the email notification set up because I want to be notified when I get an email, uh, when I get a duplicate. I do not want to match it, and that's my preference, that it matches the title. I want it to just match the gallery URL, so photos, and the price, uh, the start price. Now, in this case, we do not do just a URL matching on the gallery URL. We actually do image, we have some libraries that actually compares the image and the number of pixel um, that one item is um, from the other, meaning that we can tell if a picture is very similar, uh, some things like eBay would do. So now let's go back to our duplicates and see if it got processed, and it didn't get processed yet. So let's just give it a little minute. 
the system has to go through a lot of things. Okay, so our system has now found uh, a duplicate. So let's look at what the system has found. So the system has found, because we're, again, let me go back to here, we're just looking, we're not matching titles, we're just matching images here and uh, start price. So the system has found um, in our duplicate that we had an item here that does not have the same title. You can see that. The listing type is different. It's a store inventory versus a store fixed price. Don't ask me what it is. I have no clue. Uh, but you can see what, what it found here. Now, from there, you can decide to take action or you can decide not to take action. Let's say you would want to uh, decide that those items that you've looked at are not the same. One of the things that you can do is you can go change you know, your title or try to find ways of not making it a duplicate. However, uh, if you want to be safe and you want to click here, for example, I've decided that th since this one ends later, this is the one that ends sooner, I'm going to want to kill this one. So I'm going to click here on the kill it. And what it does is it takes me to the ending queue here and it adds a record to end this item right away and not relist it. So that's one of the options. The other option here would be to just take it, this one, copy it, and obviously it's finding twice the same, you know, because they are cross-referencing. So one of the options would be for me to, to take this, go to my ending queue, add a new record, paste it here, and it right now because it's no longer and do this. However, you could just click on kill it right here. And then if you save, it will kill it or it will get rid of it. Now, because here I have the email me on, uh, email me if you find duplicate, I want to show you here the email that I received from Key Terminator. So I'm putting this here. And you can see that Key Terminator emailed me about those two listings that it found. And it's the exact same thing that you can see uh, through the duplicate view right here. However, because you receive it as an email, you can now take action directly from your phone. Um, so let's say that now I've decided that this one ends later and this is the one that I want to kill and you can see that we've placed end early up and down so that you can really decide which one you're going to want to you know to do without misclicking. If you click here it opens the item for you so you can see what it is. Let me go back to my email but if you want to end it early you click on this and it opens a new window here that says kill that duplicate now and if image with your phone or with anything then what it does here is that it actually added this item to the ending queue right here you see it has been added because it was no longer available and the system is going to kill it and if I edit it here you can well actually there's nothing to edit it got killed so there's nothing in the ending queue. If I go to terminated, I can see that this item here was terminated and it will take uh, a little minute for the system to actually fill up the, the title. Here, let me refresh one or two times. Anyway, it will take a few time to do it. And because the system, because I've um, used this, the system also emailed me, uh, well, eBay first, I want to show you. eBay emailed me that this item got terminated here. And I'm sorry, I have to, you know, pull the, the, ca the my email on the side, but this is for privacy reason. I'm sure you understand. And let's see, let me find that uh, e item ended. There, the title got updated. And um, Key Terminator also emailed me that my item was ended. And here's the email that, that I received. 
So I hope this should help some of you, uh, again, to find your duplicates. The goal here is not to beat the system. The goal is to help you guys get rid of those duplicates before you get slapped by, by eBay. Um, some of you will want to tinker with, you know, do we want duplicate match by title? You might not want to match the picture. You might want to just match the title and the price. You can you can play with those. I found for myself that uh, what works usually is to have the, the image match for me. So I'm going to save this. So there you go, Key Terminator. Uh, you can find us in the eBay App Center by clicking Application here or go to the App Center. And plenty of application here. If you click here, if you search, I'm sorry, here for Kiwi, K-I-O-U-I, you will find all of our application and we hope that um, this can help a lot of you. Oh, one last thing worth mentioning. If you find some false positive or if there are some items that are not found or you know things that can be improved with it, again, we're offering this tool as just a free tool that's in beta right now, but we would definitely appreciate if you would send us you know those, uh, those false positive so that we can um, help and improve the system. So I hope this helps some of you. Thank you.